It's sealed. Corypheus' lackeys managed to open it. Perhaps the altar holds a clue. It appears the temple's magics are still strong. Is this elven? Does it say anything about this well of sorrows? I only recognize a few phrases. <gasps> ah, a belasan, meaning place of sorrow. That must be the well. There is something about knowledge, respectful or pure. Shiven, shivenen. Tis all I can translate. That it mentions the well is a good omen. At least we know the Well of Sorrows was important. Supplicants to Mathal would have first paid obeisance here. Following their path may aid entry. Oh, no. This is bad. Rituals are bad. You can't want this. If need be, unless you wish to turn back. might catch them. Hold a moment. While they rush ahead, this leads to our true destination. We should walk the petitioner's path as before. You forget that army fighting for us out there? Longer we play around, the more Inquisition soldiers die. There's a hole. Jump in. Performing these rituals may mean the difference between reaching the well before Corypheus's minions and not at all. We don't know what's behind those doors. They might have a reason for going another way. Had they the option, they would have proceeded. That must lead to their goal. Their goal? Or yours? There is... a danger to the natural order. Legends walked Thedas once. Things of might and wonder. Their passing has left us all the lesser. Corypheus would squander the ancient power of the well. I would have it restored.
I wasn't expecting your answer to be so... romantic. Trust me. Your surprise is matched only by my own. <sighs> Mankind blunders through the world, crushing what it does not understand. Elves, dragons, magic. The list is endless. We must stem the tide, or be left with nothing more than the mundane. This I know to be true. I read more in the first chamber than I revealed. It said a great boon is given to those who use the Well of Sorrows, but at a terrible price. What exactly did that altar say about the Well of Sorrows? Like most elven writing, it was insufferably vague. The term I deciphered was Halam Shivanas, the sweet sacrifice of duty. It implies the loss of something personal for duty's sake, yet for those who served at this temple, a worthwhile trade. What sort of curse should we brace ourselves for if we use the well? It would be easier by far to advise you of a curse. This price is not so well defined. My priority is your cause, but if the opportunity arises to save this well, I am willing to pay the cost. And gain what? That is what we must discover. The rituals may point the way. Time to proceed to the next ritual, I should think.
are close. There is but one more path to follow. Can we go? Now? Come. Let us see if the doors have opened. What was this chamber used for? Hmm. We're being watched. Venavis. You are unlike the other invaders. You stumble down our paths alongside Elven. Or at least those having our features. You bear the mark of magic, which is... familiar. How has this come to pass? What is your connection to those who first disturbed our slumber? They are my enemies, as well as yours. I am called Abelas. We are sentinels, tasked with standing against those who trespass on sacred ground. We wake only to fight, to preserve this place. Our numbers diminish with each invasion. I know what you seek. Like all who have come before you, you wish to drink from the Vera Belasan. The place of the Way of Sorrows. He speaks of the well. It is not for you. It is not for any of you. So, you're elves from ancient times? 
before the Tevinter Imperium destroyed Arlathan. The Shemlin did not destroy Arlathan. We Elven warred upon ourselves. By the time the doors to this sanctuary closed, our time was over. We awaken only when called, and each time find the world more foreign than before. It is meaningless. We endure. The Vera Belisan must be preserved. What is this Vera Belisan exactly? It is a path, one walked only by those who toiled in Mithal's favor. He speaks of priests, perhaps. More than that, you need not know. We came to stop Corypheus. He's here to take your well, not I. I believe you. Trespassers you are, but you have followed rites of petition. You have shown respect to Mithal. If these others are enemies of yours, we will aid you in destroying them. When this is done, you shall be permitted to depart. And never return. So they can stab us in the back afterwards? Stuff that. <laughs> Consider carefully. You must stop Corypheus, yes, but you may also need the well for your own. I refuse. As you wish. Our duty is clear. The Vera Belisan shall not be usurped, even if I must destroy it. Masal Dinan. No! were supposed to be wise. How old could they be if they died so stupid? All right? well knows its vessel, and those who would despoil it. Stand aside, Inquisitor. And you are? I'm called Calpurnia. But when I partake of the well, names will be meaningless. Leave. This is not your time. Your hunt for the well claimed elves, Templars, your mages. It has to end. Perhaps you see further than I thought. You serve your people. You have one last chance to save them. The Well of Sorrows overflows with knowledge, power abandoned by those the elves worshipped as gods. 
to walk the fade without the anchor. That is what the Well of Sorrows will give Corypheus. Why would Corypheus think entering the Fade will work any better than last time? Speech without understanding. I knew you would take the Well for yourself, to ransack its wisdom to try to defeat Corypheus. Come then, one last sacrifice! <laughs> you should never have come here, Corypheus! I fall, it will not be by your hand. You heard his parting words, Inquisitor. The elf seeks to destroy the Well of Sorrows. So the Sanctum is despoiled at last. You would have destroyed the Well yourself, given the chance. To keep it from your grasping fingers. Better it be lost than bestowed upon the undeserving. Fool. You'd let your people's legacy rot in the shadows. Calpurnia thought the well's knowledge was powerful. It could help stop Corypheus. I care nothing for your petty conflicts, Shemlin. You'll care when Corypheus arrives for the well. The well clearly offers power, Inquisitor. If that power can be turned against Corypheus, can you afford not to use it? Do you even know what you ask? As each servant of Mithal reached the end of their years, they would pass their knowledge on through this. All that we were, all that we knew, it would be lost forever. Look around you. Everything your people were, it's already gone. It is. Why remain? Why perform a duty without purpose? Our duty is all that remains. Those who drank from the Vira Belasan paid a great price. 
bound to the service of Mithal for eternity. You claim Mithal was truly a god. To you, it shall make no difference. of their kind, and this is what it comes to. Uh, well, it's done. <sighs> that it is. You'll note the intact Illuvian? <sighs> I was correct on that count, at least. Is it still a threat? Can Corypheus use it to travel the Fade? You recall when I took you through my Alluvian, I said each required a key? The well is the key. Take its power, and Mathal's last Alluvian will be no more use to Corypheus than glass. I did not expect the well to feel so... hungry. Seems like that should be a concern. Knowledge begets a hunger for more. I am willing to pay the price the well demands. I am also the best suited to use its knowledge in your service. Of those present, I alone have the training to make use of this. Let me drink, Inquisitor. You alone? You're not the only mage here. I have studied the oldest lore. I have delved into mysteries of which you could only dream. Can you honestly tell me there is anyone better suited? I don't know who's better suited, and neither do you. I have the best chance of making use of the well for everyone. Let me drink. You're not concerned about the price. Bound forever to the will of Mithal. Bound to the will of a dead god? It seems an empty warning. Perhaps a compulsion yet remains. Who can say otherwise? I do not fear it, even so. Are you sure you want this, Morrigan? We don't know what will happen. We do not, and yet it must be done. I am ready. Thoughts? I trust you with this power more than her. But it's not for me to decide. It's called the Well of Sorrows. Sorrows? No one should go in the Well of Sorrows. Any chance this well could help us against Corypheus? I say you take it. Enough deliberation. Give me your decision. It's yours. Elasin Salah, Visan, Visan Allah. I, I am intact. There is much to sift through, but now we can. Alluvian! 
through the mirror. It is done. I'm pleased to report we won the battle, Inquisitor. When you went through that mirror, Corypheus and his archdemon fled the field. I'm not sure why. What he wanted was no longer within the temple. Perhaps. He spent so long trying to get into the temple, he probably couldn't have helped his forces by that point. Then Corypheus is finished. If he is wise, he will hide and rebuild his strength before he attacks again. He will not hide. You sound pretty certain when you say that. The Well of Sorrows held many voices. And they speak to me now from across the ages. They hold wisdom. Secrets I never dreamed possible. But even they fear what Corypheus has become. Should we fear him more than his army? Possibly. Luckily for you, he has a weakness. The dragon he calls is not truly an archdemon. It is a dragon in which Corypheus has infested part of his being. He doubtless did so out of pride to emulate the gods of old. That pride can be exploited. Kill the dragon. And his ability to leap into other bodies is disrupted. He can be slain. You're sure? If there are no bodies for him to jump to... You assume there is a limit to the range of his power. There is not. Then what do you propose? Killing the dragon is no simple task, if it could even be found. There is a way to defeat the dragon, to match Corypheus in his power. The well whispers it to me now. Your help will be required, Inquisitor. Speak to me when you are ready and we shall begin. I'll see to Skyhold's defenses in the meantime. 